Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we're here exploring USS Midway here in San Diego, California. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're exploring this huge ship that was used in multiple different wars as an aircraft carrier. In 2004, the ship was retired and turned into a museum for carriers and naval aviation. Slowly but surely, this museum gained popularity and it turned into one of the top five, top five or top 10, depending on the list that you're looking at, right? Of museums of any kind in the United States. Not only that, but this place can also be used as an event venue for multiple different things. Most of them, of course, are navy related but i think i i saw online that people actually book this place for their wedding so that's the thing people apparently do here in san diego and due to its popularity there's also been countless uh, documentaries and tv specials done about this place our goal for today is very simple to check out as many exhibits as we can and learn more about this popular tourist destination so if you guys are interested come with me Hey there you guys, as you can see the weather is not cooperating that much. It's been raining on and off and I think it's getting better but uh, we're gonna avoid the rain and go ahead and go inside. So let's go guys, let's check it out. All right you guys, so we're inside and check this place out. I'm gonna try to go slow so that you can get to see a lot of stuff. This is just a preview though. As soon as you go inside, they're gonna ask you if you wanna take a picture over here just as a memory. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, you can start looking at the aircraft. Like you see, there's one over here and there's another one over there. But before you do that, I would recommend you guys to get the audio tour. It's this thing over here and you can get it right over in the mid section over here. So this way, you can go ahead and pick up your audio tours and you can also get maps there. And this is the audio tour device that they give you. It's really simple to use. Let me show you. So over here, there's like the introduction and this is also the demo. The only thing you have to do is put your device next to this speaker like symbol thing and wait until it beeps. Once it beeps, then you can start listening to it. And just like that, you can get to learn a little bit about all the different exhibits that they have here. Right now, I'm listening to the intro section. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Check this out. So let's try this thing. Oh, wow. So it's talking about the little pipes that stick out, these two. These are apparently machine gun guys. So those were actual weapons that they used during the war. Check those two out. You can also check the other side over here. I think you can get an even better view from this side. Check this out. You can also see like this mini like TV displays. And it's interactive as you can see there's buttons. Let's try it out. So it's basically like a mini movie, mini theater that tells you a little bit about the history of this place. I didn't actually know a lot about this place before coming here and I saw over there it says the Battle of the Midway and I was curious to see like what was that all about and you can find that here in like the history plaque right here and I started reading I'm gonna give you like a short summary and of course it's not gonna have everything but it's gonna be how I understood it so here it goes. World War II was already going on but the US was not a part of it yet. Japan attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii as part of their plan to take control of strategic locations in the Pacific Ocean. Japan attempted to occupy Midway Island and set up a trap for the United States. However, that did not work as the US intercepted that information. The battle 
battle began June 4, 1942, and it continued for four days. The U.S. finally won the battle after sinking the Japanese fleet. The aftermath of this battle was an overwhelming defeat and thousands of casualties for the Japanese army. Military historian John Keegan called it the most stunning and decisive blow in the history of naval warfare. And of course, the USS Midway served in this battle and it is famous for being the longest serving aircraft carrier in the 20th century. And then it was retired and turned into this museum. So there you have it guys, we're standing in history. So we just made it to the mid section you guys and there's not a lot of things to see but there's another one of these planes in a very cool pose. This place is amazing for taking cool pictures with very cool backgrounds. You can actually get on this one to see how it felt to do that back in the day. I definitely have to try this one out. Check this out you guys. You can see all of the controllers right here. As you can see you can get the controller and you can get a cool view of outside. I don't know how these people flew these things back in the day. Look at these controllers. They look so freaking complicated. Check it out you guys, this is insane. Definitely a great place for pictures if you come here. Let's get out of here. It's a big line. So you can see there's like a mini like arcade section. There's some simulators over there, but there's also like a video game. 16 bucks for two riders. It's loops, backspins, and for crew action. If you're here looking for action, then that place might be just for you. And if you're towards the end of your visit, you can check out the jet shop in order to get some cool gifts for yourself for your family or your friends. But we're not gonna do that just yet. We still have to check out the flight deck. That's one of the things that excites me the most. So let's do this thing. I think uh, we have to head upstairs, but uh, I'm really glad that the weather is clearing up, you guys. Check it out. From when we started to now, it's such a difference. And now we're all the way to the top. Check it out, you guys. Airplane galore. There's a huge one right as you come to the top. Check this one out. I really like the logo of this one. Check it out. It's a really, really angry dragon shooting like lightning bolts out of its sides or something. If that's not rad and intimidating at the same time, then I don't know what is. I'm gonna go ahead and give you like a 360 degree view so you can get an idea of how it looks. But check it out. This is so awesome and it's so open, so big. Check out the artillery on these ones. I don't know if these were used exactly to like target ships because they're small. I don't know how much damage this would do to a ship like this one. Just because this ship is huge and I'm sure it has like so many coats of armor. I don't know how that works exactly but I don't think those would do any damage. But if you want to hurt someone, <laughs> there's this one right here. This one's like three times or four times the size as those. I think this one would do a better job. Wow you guys, no wonder the US military and the Marines were so feared back in the day. These things are stacked. Alright you guys, we still have a lot to see so let's move on to the other side I've been noticing that this place has a very like car show kind of vibe some of their specific elements are uncovered so you can see inside it has that kind of vibe at least for me and I think it's so cool how they can get to display so many of these planes to the public moving away from the fighter planes over on that side there's a section over here for helicopters Wow check this one out you guys this is pretty big this was actually used as a rescue helicopter, so that's why there's a lot of space, I'm guessing, for all the people and the supplies that they needed. There is our pilot friend right there. Hello. This guy keeps ignoring me, you guys. Let's move on. Check it out, you guys. And this one, you can actually take a peek inside. Isn't that cool? Let's go through and check it out, you guys. Whoa. That's pretty cool. There's places where you can sit. You can look out the window as well. Check that out. 
Here you can also get a sneak peek of the cockpit. Check it out. The co-pilot and the pilot just chilling there. And that's about it. Wow, you guys, check this one out. This has to be one of my favorite designs. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. And I think I've seen this design somewhere else before. And we're getting to the end of the flight deck, as you can see. I see some plaques over here. I'm sure they tell you a little bit more about the history and some facts about this place. You can learn more about the history and how this became one of the top military bases or the top military base for the United States Navy. And just to finish off, at the very end there are two sections. That's one. This is the second one where you can get some amazing views of the bay. Wow, it seems like this thing is about to fall. Check out that person over there. If you're not good with heights, I wouldn't recommend doing this. But if you want to get some amazing pictures of the bay and of the ship as well, this is the place they have to come to. There are nets over here to prevent any accidents. Like I said, you get some amazing views of the bay from up here. Check this out. That is beautiful. Anyways, you guys, that is it for exploring the flight deck over here. I'm going to go ahead and head downstairs. I want to take a look at the gift shop and see if I want to get something for either myself, family or my friends. There it is you guys, we made it back. Let's go ahead and take a look. So they have a lot of stuff you guys. It's crazy just how much variety they have in there. They have everything from apparel to cups to toys to stuff for little kids and babies. That's kind of funny. Of course like keychains, pins and stickers and all the things that would make for great gifts for yourself your family or your friends. Anyways, you guys, I think that's gonna be it for our adventure today. I think we're just gonna head down and say goodbye from there. All right, you guys, I don't know if there's any other better place to say goodbye than right here overlooking the USS Midway. It's always fun to bring you guys along with me. Hopefully you guys think the same. And if you do, make sure you show your support by liking the video and subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Just to remind you guys to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.